Hey guys, Shane Storms with DroidModerX.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the clean ROM for the Galaxy Note 2. This is the ACE edition, which stands for All Carrier Edition. So this is going to work on AT&T, Verizon, Rogers, and other variants as well. Clean ROM is dedicated to bringing you a complete TouchWiz experience, as well as some extra customization options without taking away any of the original functionality of your Samsung device. Clean ROM is stable clean and it's one of the fastest ROMs around as you can see I'm flying through the home screen with basically no lag you see how fast the app drawer opens up the notification bar comes in and goes back up very quickly and here I just ran a few application tests to see how fast applications would boot on first boot they might have been a little bit slow but on second boot you'll see just how fast they boot up so you see the browser, it took a minute to load the page, but that was only because of the internet speed. Once that page was loaded, the browser was incredibly fast. I did run a quadrant score, and as you can see, I got 6,500. I got ridiculous battery life with this ROM as well, on average, over 24 hours. Real quickly, we'll head into settings so you guys can see what version we're running. Go to About Phone and see what we're working with here. We are working with Android 4.1.2. This is clean ROM, build number 4.7.0. Of course, we're running a stock kernel. So one of the most important parts of a TouchWiz ROM, obviously, is the TouchWiz features. This ROM includes S Pen functionality and complete one-handed operation. One-handed operation is very important on a device with a screen this large uh, because it allows us to have a shrunken down keyboard uh, which is really nice because this way you can reach all of the keys. I know for someone like me, I generally have trouble reaching it without the one-handed operation. Real quickly, I did want to demonstrate that the S Pen is fully functional. This is a deal breaker for a lot of people when they're choosing a ROM. Lots of folks will not go with an AOSP ROM such as Signage Mod 10 or AOKP simply because it doesn't incorporate the S Pen functionality. Uh, so I just wanted to Make sure you guys saw that it is working 100%. So another awesome feature of the Clean ROM on the Galaxy Note 2 is the inclusion of multi-window control. This allows you to not only run the stock TouchWiz applications in multi-window, but also you can edit the multi-window pane there and you can have any application of your choosing, which is really nice. Another thing that this ROM includes with the multi-window control is the pop-up browser, which allows you to uh, jump into another thing. Like for me, when I'm looking at my email and I want to respond to a YouTube video, I can actually jump into that YouTube video comments section without leaving my Gmail. Uh, so that is pretty awesome for me. That's where I use pop-up browser the most. Clean ROM is just that. It is a clean stock TouchWiz ROM. You're not going to notice any extra customizations minus the wallpaper, but there are flashable customizations such as center clock, battery percentage, and the clock widget that you can add separately. There's also several clean ROM boot animations that you can add separately as well. You would just flash these in recovery after the Aroma installer. Now that we've covered everything, we'll go ahead and reboot into recovery and install this ROM. Once in recovery, you'll install this like any other ROM. First, you're going to factory reset. You'll swipe to wipe. Next, you'll go ahead and wipe your cache. Then you'll wipe Dalvik cache. And lastly, you'll install the ROM. Now here, all you have to do is find the clean ROM and flash it. That's going to open up the aroma installer this is where you're gonna do all of your customization so I'll walk you through that real quick as well so on the front page we'll click the next button and here you'll choose whether you want stock or custom and then you'll choose your carrier you'll choose your carrier symbols here you'll choose your keyboard here you'll choose the launcher I prefer apex launcher but that's your choice Next, you'll choose your File Explorer. Uh, I choose ES File Explorer. Then you'll choose your G applications. You do not have to install those separately. They're built into Aroma Installer. Next, you'll choose your TouchWiz applications that you would like included in the install. Some other apps like Adobe Flash 
Dropbox and Polaris Office are included here as well. We'll give this about five minutes to flash. When this is finished, we'll install the rest of our customizations. So now that that's finished, we'll click Next and the Finish button. That brings us back to Team Win Recovery Project. Here we can flash separate customizations like the custom boot animation, the center clock, and also the uh, battery percentage mod. Once those are finished, we can go ahead and reboot the system. That wraps it up for my clean ROM review. Be sure to click the like button, subscribe to this channel. Check me out at droidmoderx.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Thanks guys for watching, be blessed, and I'll see you in the next one.